How do you do? I've heard lots about you. And I, you. You might be wondering why I've gathered you here. And it's to ask you some questions about the show that you just finished called Why Didn't They Ask Evans? Oh, that one. Okay. Um, and I rather narcissistically also printed off some questions for no. you to ask me, just because I don't want to just, just hear from you. I want to talk no. about myself. So Thank you for this <laughs> so opportunity. <laughs> he said, why didn't they ask Evans? What does that mean? I don't know. Lucy, what was your first impression when you read the scripts? I was so taken by Frankie just because of what a life for she is. It's just such a rarity to come across a person like her, a character like her. You get the best of Agatha Christie, articulated by Hugh Laurie. How can I be of assistance to you, Lady Frances? You can't, sorry. I explained to the gentleman I was here to see your wife. Why are you nervous to work with Hugh? It's not really nerves as much as just wanting to do it justice. I think more excited than anything, knowing how much he loved this character and therefore how well he knows her. Glad you're here, Frankie. Thank you. He appreciates the detail in life and, and the way things are crafted. So then to be directed by someone like that who can offer you these fine adjustments and ideas. Hugh Laurie, he's great. He's great. Yeah. I like him. I like him a lot. Lucy to Will. Do you think he can do it? I know he can. The heist was fun. Did you enjoy it? planning it with me? kind of felt like a, a sort of little show or a little kind of vignette or a, a mini movie, um, I believe they're called short films. It felt like a moment within the grander moment that was, why didn't yeah. I ask Evans? Merriway Court, Southampton Road, at the fork in the road is the gate. Now, at the bottom of the hill, there's a left turn. Hold on, how do you know all of this? Lady Frances Derwent, driving her newly acquired Standard 9, loses control and crashes into the gates of Merriway Court. Cut. Very good. That's great. What do you like about Frankie and Bobby? I sort of feel like it's impossible to fall in love with Bobby or fall in love with Frankie and not fall in love with the idea of them together. And when Frankie comes into Bobby's life, I sort of always saw it as though she was a step ahead. She's a bit sharper, a bit smarter, and she kind of encourages him to sort of raise his game. The victim of the tragedy has been named as Alex Pritchard. That was my first clue. He was identified by means of a photograph he was carrying of his sister, Mrs. Leo Kamen. When they reunite, I think it's really beautiful when it's quite rocky at the beginning, and yeah. they're trying to figure it out and piece it together. And what about you? What brings you back to Marchbold? Nothing. There is that urgency to get back to a dynamic that they used to have. We still don't know who Evans is. We don't know who they are. What didn't they ask him and why? Why didn't they ask Evans? Why didn't they ask Evans? Why didn't they ask Evans? I have yeah. to ask you this question. Your on-screen parents. Ah, there she is. The dress thief. Dress borrower, Ma, please. Emma Thompson and Jim Broadbent, was that like for you? It was remarkable. Watching two people who are just so brilliant and accurate, it was just extraordinary to watch. And Hugh at the monitors as well, just like this, close to the screen, just in heaven. Mother, I promise I will have your dress cleaned and return to your wardrobe. You will go nowhere near my wardrobe. My wardrobe is out of bounds, do you hear? Also, I love just seeing the context for Frankie as well and the slightly eccentric characters. It was <laughs> yeah. so perfect, just getting a taste of why she is the way that she is. And when you meet them, it just makes so much sense. You mean the green one? No, not the... Do you mean to tell me that you cannot remember the colour of that dress? Whatever it was, you looked very beautiful. Are you going to keep any of your costumes? The choices that I have regarding costume items <coughs> that I might want to keep has um, somewhat diminished because I work with uh, a certain woman who has taken quite a few of my costume items. Frankie, where are you going? Relax, Jones. I wear the trousers around here. So it wasn't like, can I please have? It was, I think I'm gonna have this. <laughs> it <laughs> sort of like. looks really nice. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm nervous to, you probably yeah. are after it. Oh, but. <laughs> Did you have a favorite location? Oh, uh, the carnival. Yeah. It's gotta be the carnival. Especially doing that as a night shoot, that was just magical. And such a mm. fun, kind of festive environment. Except going on the Waltzer 27 times. That was sickening no, in a good. bad way. Yeah. Um, I reached the end Oh, and then I've life. reached the end of my... That concludes yeah. the, uh, the interview. They do that on the news, don't they, when they finish They do it. that. You've got to do this and look 
thoughtful. And then, and then they burrow in and then they just do that talking. Mm, we exactly. don't really know what they're talking about. But, but it's amusing. <laughs>